Hello again and welcome to the next episode of Closure Tip of the Day screencast. This is the first episode of Closure Concurrency series. It will be a super fast episode covering lots of stuff. We will cover all sorts of things that we have for uh, concurrency and state management in Closure such as wars, atoms, refs, agents, futures, promises, delays. Um, don't mention about unified succession model, about Deref and uh, Misquanos, other things. Here are some resources. Again, if you want to check them out, they are pretty good. Uh, let's start with uh, wars that we have in Clojure. These are the basic constructs, not really for state management or concurrency, but uh, they allow us for the wonderful REPL experience, reliability of uh, Clojure code. So most basic is definition of uh, var via def. That the vars are automatically derived, so you can see the value, you can redev it. Uh, it's a bad practice, of course, production run, but uh, in REPL you can run the same def again and again. And as expected, you will get different value. Uh, you have something like ultra var root, which can be useful in some circumstances again. Uh, not used very often, but uh, you can pass it a function and then update the binding uh, for all threads. Um, there's something called dynamic wires, which uh, you need to mark with dynamic metadata. Uh, again, it's just normal wire with uh, some uh, special semantics, and then you can rebind uh, the value in a thread local manner. And as you can see, it's although the original value is still zero in this binding, it's uh, false. Okay, let's move to atoms. Atoms are very simple state management constructs. They are most used state management thing in Clojure. So you define the atom via atom function, and then you can look at it and just just atom and to get the value you need to derive it. You can update the value with swap function uh, and passing the function that will accept the current uh, value of atom and additional arguments. So we will get um, updated atom. Moving to refs. This is something that was mentioned a lot at the uh, beginning of closure. 10 years ago, but uh, now it's uh, not used very often, but uh, it's useful when you need to coordinate changes across uh, multiple states. So let's say I have users ref and accounts that I want to update simultaneously. So either all of them or, or both of them or none of them. So here you can see that uh, I have users ref, which is empty, and I have accounts, which is also empty. Here are some helpful functions, and now I need to wrap the alter function is used for updating ref, so similar to swap for atom, we have alter for ref, and uh, I need to wrap those updates into do sync, which demarks the transaction, and uh, as you can see now, we have John Doe and accounts. Uh, now to simulate the failing transaction or retries, uh, execute the update multiple times from different threads. This is something that future is for. We will, I will show it later and uh, see what's happening there. So let's try that. And now you can see, although I executed, it only three times. Uh, it's uh, being restarting many times and finally updated. And this is one reason why you shouldn't uh, have side effects in your transactions. So the result is as expected. Uh, one user has been added. Moving to agents, this is something that is for asynchronous, uncoordinated actions. Uh, they are uh, safe for side effects. Uh, can be Combined with uh, refs, if you need to perform some sound effect in your transactions. So, for example, sending an email. So, you could define a 
mailbox agent and uh, then execute uh, transaction and uh, let me do it again since it wasn't probably uh, very visible so you see updating and then Fred is sleeping and now again there I think that um, I will get already two emails because I executed this two times and now when I try to execute it uh, two times quickly you can see that uh, again transaction is restarted but the side effect which is here actually was executed only two times here and here okay moving to futures we already seen then them uh, futures are executed on agent on agents thread pool and uh, they are just a very simple mechanism how to execute asynchronous functions so let's say we have my action function normally we would call it and it would take some time i can call it twice and you see that uh, the first run has to be finished and only then the second run can start uh, but if I wrap it, uh, wrap my fun action in uh, future, I can execute it multiple times and they all started and now they are all finished. Moving to promises, a more flexible mechanism than future, but uh, it's also more work since you need to execute it in uh, your own thread and create a thread explicitly. So, they are useful if you need to deliver uh, multiple uh, values and uh, if you want to do it before the whole action is finished. So let's say I want to deliver start value at the beginning of my action early. So I have this uh, function which is executed in a separate thread, then sleeping and then finally delivering the end value this is just uh, to make the thing more uh, visible but uh, again it's just the thing the prom is the same as with agents atoms or reps and finally we will try to the thing both promises so let me just put a couple of print lines here and executing the whole block at once and you can see that uh, start value was immediately uh, available but end value wasn't available until three seconds past so that's as i said that uh, promises behave the deref will block until the value is available but uh, now if uh, i would uh, execute it again it will be immediately available because it has already been delivered uh, there's uh, some little construct called delay which we can use if we want just want to delay some time consuming execution until it's explicitly uh, requested so i can define delay as you can see no print line has been executed so the delay block hasn't been executed yet right and if i try to the ref then it's executed and i get the result 42 and i can deref it again and now the value is cached and uh, the body is not executed again okay this were the basic uh, things that I wanted to talk about now just brief mention about something which is called unified succession model this is then an idea that we have a common way how to update various state management constructs or even values like maps and stuff like that you can read more about it at this tag overflow link and as you have seen it's uh, the update mechanism for wars, atoms, refs, or agents is pretty similar. There's always some 
custom function like alter var root swap do sing uh sorry alter or send send slash send off for async for blocking operations and then there's um construct itself the state management thing like uh atom var ref or agent and th then comes the function your uh, own function for updating that the, the receives custom value of ref or atom or var and uh, this function is called with uh, this current value and additional uh, arguments that uh, you will specify so this is an idea that we have a unified model how to go from one state to another uh, we have seen the ref yeah, this short hand, uh, but we can also use it in other way. If I just try uh, to the ref promise which hasn't been delivered, the REPL is blocked and I don't get any value. So I will kill it and uh, then I will try to the ref by specifying timeout and a default value. And in one second, I get. The default value because this promise is never delivered so be careful and try always think if you are absolutely sure that uh, your promise or future or whatever uh, will be uh, executed in a timely manner and if not then possibly use the ref with timeouts there are also other things in closure like of other primitives like logs and threads that are low quite low level there is some support for thread pools and executor serving standard java sdk uh, uh, and fork join pmap for uh, basic parallel execution reducers for fine-grained parallelism core icing for communication between processes i will cover some of these in the future episodes together with more details about agents refs items promises future etc so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episodes.